Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. We've got a new box in the mail, so stay tuned and check it out. So let's see what's all in the box. Too cute, so we're gonna see what's in there. But I already got an idea. We've got a new trio, but it's now called the Neo Pro. Let me do it like this. So they get some foam and stuff to keep it safe in travel. So the cubes, I think these are the ones that go in there. Because the first trio also had those spots. Yeah, we've got a... Let's open it up. This one is for concentrate. It will focus a little. I will do close-ups later on. And probably is this one is for the 510 connection for if you have cartridges or at least I guess I think the the one for the herbal is in here already I was right you can screw a 510 cartridge in there uh, those look uh, the same we're going to compare it later on. Packaging, I don't know. I think this is, this is cut. Because there's a line. Um, here as well. It did look already like the package has been opened by the customs, so I think they checked in here already. It's got a manual. And we've got here the vaporizer itself. I must say it looks pretty awesome. Very tiny again, that's what I liked about the original trio. Look at their size, it's, it's very concealable. Ah. Uh, with the previous model you need to remove the back and uh, now you can just grab the front out and you have here the, the pots in there. So unscrew the mouthpiece. And you can switch them out if you like. Uh, this is one is for the green, by the way. And you want to do some concentrates, you put that in. And by screwing the mouthpiece on, it makes a connection and you're ready to go. We have uh, some accessories. Accessories. And let's open that up. We've got a charger, it's a USB-C type, so that's always good. Just that because I mostly I use just a phone charger to do all my tapes. And we've got a kit with a tool and a brush. Let's open it up, you can see it better. We've got a brush and a sort of dip tool. So I line it up so you can see it all a little bit better and later on today I'm going to do the testing of it, so stay tuned. So it's fully charged up now, so we have uh, 
you can also try it now. Uh, first thing I noticed, it, it rattles a little bit. I go to the camera to make it... Uh, it's not a pot in there, because it's nice and tight even when I hold it. I think it's the battery or something. But I don't know for sure, of course. But it's just uh, what I noticed right away. Uh, the cover, just like the original, has some magnets, so it stays uh, where it's supposed to be. So that's good. Uh, I want to do a small comparison with the original model. They both are very tiny. The height is about the same. Thickness also. This looks uh, thicker, but this has more rounded edges. But uh, this way it's even a little bit thicker than the new one. Not much, just a little. And uh, the glass mouthpiece is a little bit longer. And as the big difference is of course the screen on there. Uh, this one has the power button. That will flashes, and this has the screen. So we're gonna take a look at that, what it does. Let's turn this one off again. This on the side. One thing I want to check first is the the pots. I believe they are the same. I have the original one right here. And they are, it's just the same, so if you have the previous version of this, you also can use the boss. And that's a big win, because sometimes when company make new stuff, uh, you cannot use the old ones anymore, and here you can, so that's great. Yeah, it's basically just the same. So we're gonna fill it up. Like most of the fades, uh, better to loose packet and not too tight because there are a few air holes let me show that as well on the sides where you put the air through let's get it in Yeah, I think the, because here's the battery built in, and let me show you on the other one. You can get the side off, and you have a replaceable battery right there. I hope you can see it a little. So let's turn it on. Wait, I get the camera closer by because this is not okay, I think. You're gonna do it like this. So here you can see it better, the screen. So let's turn it on. I didn't, I probably should read the manual first, but normally it's five clicks or three clicks. So let's try five. One, two, three, four, five. It turns on. It's set on 190 from the factory and it's already counting up the numbers. If you can see that on the screen, I think you can. It heats up pretty fast. We're now at 160 already. It's on low temperature, so no big hiss, uh, of course. Let me put this like this. It's very strange to see myself upside down on the table. So let's uh, try the first uh, rips of it. Okay, already a little bit of vapor. I didn't expect that. Let's turn it up to 200 Celsius. It heats very fast. I didn't expect that, so that's good. Okay. I have the feeling this one gets more air to it than the other one, uh, less restricted. But I don't know why, because it's just the same pot. 
maybe some air can come to the sides of this door of course a little can but it's more than I expected let's do a few more puffs and let's see um, how it looks on the inside and I do have some CBD stuff that I can dab so we can use that pot as well I do not have a 510 uh, cartridge at the moment so that I cannot show but you can check the other video it works perfectly I think we are done at 200 celsius let's turn it off it's three clicks by the way <coughs> Three clicks is uh, is enough to power it up and shut it down. It's still a little bit green, a little bit, mostly green. Let me show you. Let me put it aside like this. Um, gonna get something to dab and be right back. So we've got something here, so we're going to fill this orange pot up. Any big pieces I need, don't need that big. Just a little bit to try it out. They have provided two works, it's, it's a tiny one, but it will do the job. Let's put this in. Cover it up. Um, three clicks, and now we're gonna put it to the highest setting. It's, oh, it already recognizes the 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 pot is in there. Let me show that again because this is this is great. That I didn't expect it. So you need to hold it and it heats. Yeah, it does. So I'm curious. Okay. I think this is better with a water adapter. I got one, but I couldn't find it right away. If I do find it, I may make a picture on the Instagram how it looks that way, or maybe do a little demonstration. But it's a little bit rough on the bigger hits when you hold it too long. And I've got it on the highest setting as well. And the same counts for the pot with for the 510 connection, but that one I don't can test right now. But uh, in the previous video of the original model of this I did and it worked perfectly. So my thoughts on this for now, I think it's better than the original. Uh, the shape is almost the same, but the upgrades are uh, better, or better, otherwise it's an upgrade. Um, only thing I have is the, I think it's the battery. <clears throat> I hope it will last because I just throw it in a pack, go outdoors, uh, use it. Because that's why I like this small thing. Because when you, even the mouthpiece, I don't have really big hands, but it's completely gone. It's very small, very compact. You can easily carry it in your pocket. So first impressions are good, or even better than good. So as always, thanks for watching and till the next time. Ciao!